What is going on YouTube? I have a very bizarre video for you and a bit out of the norm for my channel, but I am going to attempt to DIY, if you will, and slash make a sandblaster from scratch as cheap as possible. So stick around. So here are our supplies. I have some half inch clear vinyl hose, it's 10 feet long. I have a five gallon bucket and a one half inch tube fitting. Now I did already have this, so I'm not gonna include this in the cost, but it is something to think about if you don't already have a, an air chuck or a blowgun of some kind. Let's see, the bucket was a whopping $5.50. The line was $2.70 and, no, sorry, the line was $8.50 and the fitting was $2.70. And then the actual blasting sand was $12.99. So $13 after tax, it was, you know, $32 for everything. And here's why that number is important. I had seen a sandblaster on Harbor Freight's website and it was an entire sandblaster for $30, but with no media. So if I can make this into a sandblaster using Bernoulli's principle of a Venturi pretty easily, then I might have found a way to save just a couple of dollars. And I'm doing all of this for a reason. For those of you who are not familiar, this is my 1967 Mustang that I have owned for 14 years. I restored it with my dad, um, but there were a couple of items that we sort of left unattended, if you will. The cowl was one of them. And hopefully in next Sunday's video, I'm gonna be cutting out the cowl hats and replacing them, but I need a sandblaster to sandblast out all the rust. And I wanna prove that in a dirt floor carport, you can build a car, albeit it might not be the highest show quality, it might not be the best work, but you can do it. So let's try this. So now this part is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to drill a half inch hole in the bucket. And I actually had to enlarge this a little bit, but I'm gonna drill a half inch hole in the bucket. I'm gonna add the plastic fitting, and then I'm going to shove the clear plastic line over the end of the plastic fitting. Now I do have plans um, later to put some silicone around the plastic fitting so that it doesn't leak any of the sand out. Um, and it's didn't really need to be that tight, but you know, it is what it is. So there you go, just shoving the plastic fitting on the end of it. And I wanted to add in here that I actually changed um, this initial way that I held the plastic tube to the blowgun. At first, I just zip tied it in place, um, but it kept kind of slipping off and the zip ties kept cam coming loose. Uh, so towards the end of the video, you'll see that it's actually held on with electrical tape, which actually worked a lot better just because it held it in place a lot more securely, so. But I put this little plastic fitting in here, put the, put the rubber hose on there, and I just zip tied it to this so that it's, you know, only holding one thing. That's a lot easier to control. This is actually a, a plastic, like, tip that a drill bit came in. I had to order a, or not order, I got a 9 16th drill bit um, from Tractor Supply and it, it came in a big heavy plastic thing. So I figured I'd shove this down in the end of there um, just to kind of help control things better. Probably gonna put a couple pieces of electrical tape around it to hold it all together here. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'll see how this works. I'll show you exactly what I bought. The plastic fitting, this is all from Tractor Supply, by the way. And if you could find something cheaper than a $6 five gallon bucket, you're welcome to use that. Um, but this was just a little nylon adapter fitting that I got in the, obviously, the tractor section of Tractor Supply. And it was right next to the clear vinyl tubing, which was 3 8 inside diameter and a half inch outside diameter, which is why I got the uh, 3 8 fitting. This is actually a 3 8 fitting, but the threads are one half. And I actually had to enlarge that hole just a little bit to get that to thread in place. I may at some point add some silicone around here and maybe around in here just to keep it from... Uh, leaking out, but I'm going to tape this up, uh, plug in the air compressor, get that charged up, and we'll see how it does. So have a little bit of sand in here, not much. Um, this is some black diamond media from Tractor Supply. It was like $13 for the bag. And this is just gonna show you that, you know, Bernoulli's principle of Venturi does work. And I know this isn't like 
the best Venturi, but this is still a Venturi. And if I, if I squeeze this trigger real quick, you're gonna watch it suck into the clear hose. So it might take it a little while to get to here. So I think what I'm gonna do is for the sake of time and not wasting all my air, I'm gonna pick this up above this and let it sort of fill down into there. And I think I could also control the flow. Like if I wanted a lot more sand to come out, all I would really have to do is raise this up like this and you know, it'll do it. It'll run out of there and fill up the plastic hose. So I'm gonna give it a test and see how it works. Okay, so I uh, came over here to the back porch. Hopefully this comes out okay. You see I've done a little bit here. Um, I changed it just a little bit. I Instead, I wrapped it in tape, and so I get a little bit more of that Bernoulli effect, and I cut this on a little bit of an edge, um, and then I just shoved this in here to kind of help uh, direct everything. Now, I have noticed it works best if the bucket of sand is above this and the line is as straight as possible. As soon as the line starts getting like curls in it, it doesn't want to flow very well. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but you know, in this configuration, it seems to work okay. And let's uh, let's give it a shot. I'll show you what I'm talking. About. I ended up trying um, a couple different techniques with it to see what would work best. Uh, like I said, I noticed having the line above it flowed the most sand. You'll see me shake the line every once in a while to try to break the sand or the media up. I think it's just a little too heavy. The particulates are too large. Um, something like baking soda or like a really fine sand would probably work a lot better. I also noticed that when I held the nozzle really, really close to the rusty saw blade, which is what that is if you were curious, when I held the nozzle really, really close to that, um, it sort of started to pressurize the tip. It would stop the sand from flowing altogether. So I'm kind of messing around with a different, couple different things and, and techniques and just seeing what works best. Um, once I held back probably, I don't know, four to eight inches, um, is when I got the most flow of sand. That was me jiggling the line, as I was talking about earlier. So, I mean, there you go. It's not really anything to write mom home about. I mean, it's, it's okay. It works all right, especially for like $13 or however much it cost me to make that. Um, but I'm going to play around with it, with the with the plastic hose and that, that other piece, and see if I can get a little bit more of a Venturi effect, because I, I kind of noticed it really only works if I can get the five-gallon bucket above whatever it is, <coughs> excuse me, above the nozzle. Um, it could also be because the sand that I'm using is really heavy. It's really large particles. Maybe if they were smaller, it would pull it a little bit easier. But for those of you who don't know um, what I'm doing to this, this is the cowl on a 67 Mustang and 65, six, seven, eight, nine, and even 70, 71, I think are all pretty much, actually no, not, not 71, they changed it. Um, but they're all the same in the sense they've got these grills here to let fresh air in to the cabin. And then there's an inlet right kind of underneath where my hand is. Um, but since water goes in there, all that water has to drain out inside the inner fender apron. So what they did was put like a top hat piece of metal in there, but they didn't seam seal it and they didn't really treat them for corrosion. So they almost always rot out. And my Mustang is not special. And except for the floor of my cow, which is the piece down in there, is actually in great shape. There's almost no rust on the floor. There's almost no, there's actually really no holes in the floor. Um, and if they are, they're so small, they don't matter. So what I'm doing is cutting the old metal hats out and then I'm going to clean out all the corrosion and seam seal in new plastic ones, and that will keep water from running in there and eventually will be a permanent fix. Um, I'm doing it that way, not just to save a bunch of money, but in order to change a lower cowl in a Mustang, you have to take the windshield out, you gotta drill out all the spot welds. There's a million videos of how to do that on YouTube. And it's just kind of a big pain in the butt, so I'm gonna try to do it the better way, but I have to make sure I get every shred of rust out of there. Every small piece of rust or corrosion that's left behind has to come out and it has to get chemically treated. And that's why I'm making this cheap sandblaster. Now, could I afford to go buy a $35 sandblaster from Harbor Freight? Of course. Could I afford um, to have the car blasted? Yeah, I could. Um, but I want to prove to myself and kind of to my followers of YouTube is that you don't need $15,000 in tools. You don't need even $1,000 in tools. You can get away with doing it a cheaper way. And there's no shame in that. 
There's no shame in trying to do it a cheaper way because once upon a time, I was a 16 year old kid with a Mustang and a dream and no money. And even though now I'm a 30 year old man with a Mustang and a dream and a little bit of money, I still wanna prove that it can be done. There is a way to do it. So hopefully, like I said, I can get to that next Sunday. I've just been super busy. I've been sick. My stepson's sick. It's, it's a whole thing. So I will see y'all in the next video on Wednesday, which we'll be back to some uh, aircraft content. So look forward to that. As always, leave us a like, leave us a comment, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. Go build something and be easy.